We have two different types of alarms, major alarms and minor alarms. A minor alarm is not fatal. The dryer will continue to run for the alarm time period to see if the problem resolves. Minor alarms will display in yellow. If an alarm is resolved before the timer expires, the dryer will continue to run, but we still need to acknowledge the alarm. The alarm now moves to the top of the most recent list. I can scroll through the list and navigate back and forth through previous alarms with the up and down buttons. If a minor alarm is not resolved within the alarm time period, the dryer will go into a soft shutdown, disabling the unload, the burner, and the load. The cool down timer activates, allows the fan to run until the timer expires, at which time the dryer will shut down completely. Acknowledge the alarm, resolve the issue, and restart the dryer. A major alarm is fatal. The dryer needs to stop and stop right now. An example would be a motor overload. A major alarm displays in red. When pressing the alarm button, we'll see the active alarm. We need to acknowledge the alarm. To locate the fault, press the power button on the monitor. The status screen now displays waiting for MCR. Press the systems button and then the safety button. The first item in the safety circuit that is in red is the location of the fault. In this case, a motor overload in the fill system. Resolve the cause of the fault. Reset the overload. We need to press the start button on the control panel on the dryer. The status screen will display idle. Press the start on the monitor. Complete the startup options. Return to the overview screen.